Hey, welcome back to The Urban Monk. I'm here today to talk about pain. Uh, we've all got it. Uh, it just gets stuck in our system somewhere and most of us drag it around for life. Uh, my guest today, Miranda Esben White, um, has run the miles. She was a professional ballerina and had lots of pain and figured out a way to unravel it and has, uh, for herself and now has been doing so for people all over the world, uh, professional athletes and people who uh, you know have had career ending injuries and with a little bit of work, are pain-free. So this to me is, is music to my ears because I got all kinds of martial arts injuries. I've worked through lots of them. Still wake up with a handful of them. So hey, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. Thrilled to be here. <laughs> yeah, this is great. I know a lot of my audience in particular has pain. And so one of the, the patterns with this is, you know, you get an injury, uh, you baby the injury, you probably put right. on 30 pounds, and then you get Ooh, upset that okay. you've put on 30 pounds. You jump back in, try to do some exercise. You haven't really unloaded whatever the kind of core issue was. You end up re-injuring and rinse and repeat. And then, you know, you get into your 50s and you have a hard time being able to do much of anything. And so you right. watch football on TV instead of playing it, right? <laughs> so, right. Okay. Yeah. So that now uh, you don't have to do that. That cycle can be finished if you want it finished. So that's what this book really explains why, exactly what you were talking about, why you have pain, why it hangs around for so many years, and you might baby it, but then it'll come back the moment you start exercising and playing football or martial arts, as you said. That's absolutely not necessary, but we have not um, until, like I've, I've been working with scientists and doctors uh, for the past, 15, 20 years researching all of this, and now it's available and uh, explained very clearly why this is new science. And it's really new science, and it should be so helpful for people who don't want to be in pain and are prepared to do the tiniest little bit of work not to be in pain. So what are we talking about here? What is, what is the methodology that you kind of discovered on your own body and then started really right. studying and, and you know, kind of furthering? Well, I discovered it on my body, but um, I also have a television show called Classical Stretch on PBS. And it's been on PBS nationally for 17 years. So from PBS, we got literally tens of thousands of emails from the viewers saying that they all kinds of different ailments, uh, he, injuries were healed, pain. And fibromyalgia, athletes who had, er, uh, you know, uh, weekend warrior type athletes, such as yourself, I think that's what you sort of refer to, uh, who had an injury, got somewhat healed and then went back to your sport and another injury, a shoulder, a hip, a knee, you're always in constant pain. So I then went and worked with a lot of doctors and scientists and the foreword of this book is written by the director of integrated medicine at Harvard University. And the reason she's participating in this project is because she herself had chronic pain from a car accident in her early 20s. And she had had chronic pain for 30 years in her shoulder and hip. And within a few weeks, that chronic pain disappeared. So that's why she, un she believes in this program. So I can explain to you what it is. And she helped me understand scientifically what it is. So what we're, there's two types of pain, acute pain and chronic pain. And chronic pain is what you're talking about. It's pain that people have had for more than three months. Acute pain is from a disease, a break, a burn, surgery. You have it right away. You know where it's from. You go to the doctor, you get fixed. Chronic pain kind of can sneak up on you. You might Your hip might hurt, and then a year later, you're in excruciating pain. But you really don't know why because you didn't have an accident, or your knee, or your foot, or suddenly you have plantar fasciata, or a frozen shoulder, and you're really not sure because nothing happened that made you have that pain. And, uh, th and then you're popping pills to, to manage the pain. So that's what I'm talking about. And one in five Americans, that's Canadians, Americans, people in Europe, suffer from chronic pain at any given time. That's an enormous number of people. That is an enormous number of people. And that, 
And that is uh, a metric <laughs> that's hard to really track like downstream because then that leads right. to people not being able to exercise, not being able to live, lift their grandchildren, not being able to right. do the things that they wanted to do. It's like I waited my whole life to retire and go climb the pyramids and I can't. Right. You and can't. so, yeah. yeah, it's it's a downstream phenomenon that just, you know, it's it's a big challenge. And young people, too. It's not just an older people thing. It's pain catches everyone. Like we have people in their teens and in their 20s suffering from chronic pain and it doesn't get better if you don't fix it. So this chronic pain is mechanical. It's not chemical, it's mechanical. So you have to fix a mechanical problem with the mechanical solution. So you can't patch it over. You actually have to fix it. So what has happened? The mechanics of our body are our bones. That's all our joints and our bones, which we have 360 joints. So there's a lot that can go wrong when they get out of line. We have 650 muscles. And those muscles have to be equally balanced. And when I say equally balanced, they have to be strong and flexible. So, uh, and equally. So you can't have one group of muscles overpowering their opposing group. Because if they do, then they're going to wreck up the alignment of the joints. And then the joints start rubbing. And then we have arthritic damage to the joint. But when the bone, when the muscles are pulling and they're unbalanced, for athletes, for instance, then they start to spasm because one is overworking, the other is underworking. So there's the, the need to rebalance every muscle in the body, have them equally strong as flexible. So we, we understand strength. Traditionally, every coach, every anybody understands you, you, you lift weights, you, you do aggressive work to develop strength. What people don't understand is how to develop strength and flexibility simultaneously because that's what's needed and that's what has not been done. So mm -hmm. that's what this is all about. It's lengthening the muscle and strengthening them in the lengthened position because when you think of stretching, you probably think of something passive where you're going to target a muscle group and hold it and it'll stretch it out. But the moment you move, that muscle will shorten up immediately into what's recruited for strength. But you want it, when it, when you're recruiting it for strength, you want that muscle to remain in the lengthened position so it will liberate your joints and give you energy and power and, and prevent pain and prevent damage. So this is really the secret, is to rebalance all 650 muscles. But there's the... The third element to this, and that's our connective tissue. And that's really what Dr. Langevin at Harvard's, all her study and research has been on connective tissue. And connective tissue are fascia, which we all know what fascia is now. It surrounds every single bone, ligament, uh, nerve, blood cell, uh, organ. Fascia surrounds everything and connects our body together. But it's also things like ligaments and tendons that are very firm and hard. So fascia is very pliable, like an elastic band, whereas, and it's thin, like tissue paper, whereas con, uh, tendons and ligaments are really, really strong and hard and firm and hardly move at all. And the third part of our connective tissue is like a gooey liquid. So connective tissue comes in three forms. It's this gooey stuff, it's this fascia, which is films, and it's hard. And when we don't move, like let's say you do a repetitive motion, like typing, you're not moving parts of your body. So that fascia will get the gooey part that's supposed to be between the sheets of tissue paper of fascia that makes it slide, it'll glue it together. And then we won't be able to move. So when people suddenly have immobile backs or their hips aren't moving or they they can't get their arms like I'll just show you if, you if they can't straighten if people can't straighten their elbow straight up above it would probably mean that their connective tissue yeah you're looking pretty good can you go really high yeah that's good is your elbow straight because I can't see straight yeah straight good okay and then pull it back can it move back you feel those pecs feel the pecs so you're in nice you're looking good but you already look good. I kind of figured your connective tissue and your body was in good shape. 
but a lot of people, they can't. Uh, you'll you'll notice in in gyms or a lot of people cannot straighten their elbows and they can't la- raise their arms up. Their arms can only go at an angle above their heads, and that means that the connective tissue throughout their whole shoulder joint has sort of congealed. Mm-hmm. So we need to liberate it, and you don't want to tear it uh, because people are so rough on their bodies. So you need to work very gently so this tissue paper fascia can slowly regain its sliding. And as it is so, so gentle movements are what's so important in pain relief. So you're going to move through all 650 muscles, like I'm moving my arms around, twisting the shoulders gently, like put the, yeah, and then just twist within the joint. Nice. Oh, you've got really, really, that's, you, you're very flexible. Years and, of qigong, I should hope so, or else I want my money yeah, back. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, that's that's true. Okay, and then rounding your spine. So all your movements, the same thing in the hips. So qigong, I love qigong. Mm-hmm. Um, so all, all, so you're really qigong is really a wonderful form of exercise because it does somewhat similar to what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We're work, we're we're working a little bit more on every plane than qigong does a little bit more rotational, but there's a, a lot of similarities. Sure. Uh, well, and and so this is an what, articulated strategy. I mean, Qigong's doing, the, doing certain things for different reasons, but this right, is to open right. up and strengthen and, and get flexibility simultaneously, which is interesting. What we're doing. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's the slower and the more gently you do the, this program, the faster you'll heal because the neurological system, our brain, Pain is a message from the brain telling us that there's an injury with our body. So it, when we have something wrong with our body, then people say, okay, I'm going to work through the pain. Well, that is the most ridiculous thing you could do mm. because the body is saying, don't stress me or I'm going to hold to protect. So you have to not stress. So you go to the edge of pain and stop. And then the brain then recognizes that you are being responsible to your body and then lets you move and heal your body. But if you force through it, you will never heal it. And that's mm-hmm. why you're saying all these weekend warriors just continuously re-injuring because they actually never fully heal. Yeah. So you want to fully heal, then you, can, then you can go back to any sport you want once you've fully healed. Yep. I know um, I've been around a lot of athletes and some of the kind of locker room yes. talk. Um, this is pre-Trump yeah. locker room talk. Um, yes. yeah. okay. uh, it, the yeah. locker room talk has really been like, you know what? Uh, oh, it hurts. Tape a couple aspirins on it and get back out there. Right. And that's the mentality. Yeah. Right. And so, mm-hmm. you know, and that's I've been right. in sports. I've been in stuff for a long yeah. time. That's the that's the fight through it kind of tough guy mentality mm-hmm. when it comes to injuries. Right. And so, I mean, listen, they, they're, they're really good business for the orthopedists. Yeah. But you you are a far cry from a surgery when some of these first first symptoms show up, usually unless it's an acute tear, right. then the question yeah. is, okay, how do I properly rehabilitate this? Well, the, the thing is, up until I've come along, I think, I'm the first person in the fitness field to really start screaming and yelling from the rooftops and to have the privilege of a book from Harper, Har- Harper Collins, and the PBS show that I can, I have a, a, pul- a bully pulpit now that mm-hmm. I can explain this because this is new. So I don't blame any coaches mm-hmm. or anybody, any weekend warriors from taking the pill because that's what we were told to do. As a dancer, we used to take Tylenol or aspirin before before classes so we wouldn't be in so much pain, which is stupid because we're blocking out the pain that is there to protect us. So dancers end up becoming more injured than they need to because they're working in dangerous ways as athletes. Yep. So the, the, so we just have to, you, you are doing a service right now by telling people that there is now brand new science showing that if we really want to have fun out there and play lots of sports and not be in pain, then there is a solution, and that's gentle, correct exercise. So let's unpack this solution. Are we talking about, okay. uh, you know, obviously you can't get up and demonstrate this whole thing because of, uh, you know, our framing here. But right. let's not, so, so is it eccentric loading? Are there very specific sequences that go into how to open up uh, certain body parts? Do you work the whole body at once? Like, what's the gestalt? So the way it works is 
full body is being worked all the time. And it's gentle and it's, I'll just move, and it's continuous movement. So we don't stop and hold for 30 seconds. We relax and move into every movement. So I'm twisting, moving around, working all 650 muscles. Like right now, it's these easy to follow exercises where you just lift your arms up above your head and then just reach one arm higher to the ceiling and go a little higher and pull that arm back and now lift the other one up and it should feel good. Does it feel good? Oh, it always it feels good to stretch. Yeah, and now go higher and don't bend quite so much. Try to stay a little straighter and relax your shoulder and go higher. So you'll feel the pull a little more through the connective tissue around your ribs. Do you feel mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. The more you relax, the deeper you'll get the stretch. Whoops, I just lost my earbud. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, fine. and then take your fingers, hold your hands, lift your elbows up, and now push towards the uh, t towards me. Now lift your shoulders as high as you can. Lift them up towards, and now round your back. Round, round, round. Yeah, now pull. And you'll feel that right through your back. Does that feel good? That feels great. Yeah, so we're doing all these movements. They're easy, easy mm. to do. And then the same thing like in uh, Qigong and that, uh, these uh, like uh, knee bends and just shifting around, moving the hips. So it's through sequences, using fingers and toes. Nothing is missed in a 20-minute workout. It's all flowing movements. But what I want to do, because I, I studied Tai Chi. After ballet, I, being a ballerina, I opened a fitness center and uh, rented the studio to a Tai Chi master. So I studied Tai Chi, and I, I adored it. But if I missed a class, I would not be able to follow. And so I had to drop out because I was so busy. So I wanted to develop a program that anyone could do the first time they tried it and feel good doing it. So this is very simple to follow movements. Mm -hmm. So it's like you just grab and you pull, gently move. So we have, uh, we have you name it, pretty much every sport does this program uh, like skiers and football players and baseball players and hockey players and the world squash champion and divers and swimmers because uh, it's so easy to do and you can do it anywhere you can do it uh, you, you can use your cell phone and follow along with a, a, a dvd if you want uh, the book has got all the little sequences you'll notice how we laid out the sequences in the book where it's not exercises, it's sequences. So you yeah. see the flow from one side to the other. We didn't want people to try to do a move, an exercise. We wanted Stop. them to do a sequence because the body is one unit. It's not a bunch of in separate pieces. It's one unit. So when we have, let's say you have a hip problem and your hip is replaced. So you may have replaced that unit, but then you have to reintegrate that unit into the full body. And people who don't exercise after they've had hip and knee replacements, they, they have all kinds of stiffness still. They've got a, they have no pain, but they don't have full mobility. Their backs are stiff because their muscles haven't been reintegrated into the unit. So we want the, the body is one piece. Our fingers are connected to our toes and our circulation, our neurological system, our digestive system, they all depend on the full body functioning from fingers to toes. So that's what, that's what this program is doing. So what your uh, friend slash colleague over at Harvard Medical School has been looking at this for some time. Right. What are we finding right. scientifically that is answering some of the questions about chronic pain and what is this type of movement doing that is helping alleviate it in, in a real kind of lasting way. Okay, so first, what, what we're doing is we're actually fixing the problem. We're not, uh, medication masks pain because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to work with our neurological system so that we don't feel the pain. But when the, when the medication wears off, we're back in pain again. So what this is doing, what, what the Eccentrics workout does is it actually fixes the problem. It actually, because the human body is designed to be pain-free. 
It's, it's a self-healing unit, and it's designed to self-heal. So we just have to know how to do that. And that when you work, when you rebalance all 650 muscles and you get all the joints aligned again and the connective tissue liberated, then the mechanical body will not be in pain. So the mechanical body is in pain when those things go off. So this, this program actually puts the mechanical body back in order. So you can do whatever you want with it. I, I do this program every day for 20 minutes, and I'm pain-free, and I'm 67, and I'm in better shape and more energetic than I've been in my entire life, and a lot of people say this. It, it doesn't take a lot. You, you think you're going to have to spend hours doing this, but it, the human body is designed to not be in pain, so, that, so, so this is... Yeah. Okay, so you're talking about balancing um, kind of the joint positioning from head to toe. Um, right. How does it take? Someone's been a desk jockey for 30 years, sitting around hunched right. over. Um, how long right. in this protocol do you, do you need to kind of run at this before you start seeing it? And then I still really kind of want to understand what Harvard is finding um, is the reason for the, the, you know, kind of the remission of this pain. What, they're, what, what she's finding, and we're actually doing scientific studies. There's, there's a five-year scientific study program going on right now, not at Harvard, but at the world's leading pain institute, actually. And um, what, what it is, is it's, it's when you pull the muscles apart and strengthen them simultaneously, all 650, then the body will naturally rebalance its bones. The bones that have been pulled out of whack, when the muscles are in their correct place, then the bones are able to realign themselves. Now, and then the connective tissue, there's been a lot of studies done on stretching that gets rid of scar tissue. And scar tissue is part a great deal to do with connective tissue and fascia, because that's where the scar tissue is built up and it causes a lot of pain. And that stretching, there are studies proving that stretching gets rid of this scar tissue. But it's, so you, you have to do all three, the, the muscle rebalancing, the joint realigning, and the connective tissue. All three have to be worked together. But it's very simple to do that. And that's what gets rid of the mechanical damage. And when you get rid of the damage, the body can heal. If you don't fix the unbalance, then the brain, the message will keep sending that there's something wrong. So you have to rebalance the muscles. If you don't fix the poorly aligned joints, then you're going to have joints rubbing bone on bone after a while. So the brain, the message will be there. But if your muscles then will pull those poorly aligned joints back into place as they're designed, designed, in your makeup, in your body, they're designed to be balanced. So once they're put in place, then they will liberate those joints, either the, whether it's in your spine or your shoulders with your frozen shoulder or your hips or your knees or your feet, very, very rapidly. And that's the thing that shocks everyone is something that can be 20 and 30 and 40-year-old injury can be re re uh, reversed rapidly with the rebalancing of the muscles, the alignment, and the connective tissue. Now, the question is, you said, somebody who's a 30-year-old desk jockey, but everybody is different. So some people, like I look at you, you're in tremendous shape. So, you know, you're, you, there's, you've got to deal with so many elements of that individual person. But the, the, Results that we've had with thousands and tens of thousands, literally, people see very rapid results because the body is designed to self-heal. So we can spend 20 years not healing, and the moment we start self-healing, it's ready. It's, 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 it's so excited, and it does it because mm. you, give it, you give it the space. So it's, it, some people see changes. It, when you read the book, you'll see the stories. Some people see changes within a week, within a day, within three weeks, you know, within six weeks. Most of the changes people see are within 
let's say, they start to see it the first time they try it, and then the results very rapidly over a two-week period. But it's so personal. I can't make promises yeah. because it's too individual. You know? Sure. Yeah, well, and we've all had a different injuries. We've all been through different, uh, different things right. here. Um, so right. 20 minutes a day, uh, a couple weeks into it, most people's pain starts to be resolved. I mean, I'm assuming there's a mm -hmm. signaling mm -hmm. mechanism to the brain that starts to get remapped once, um, once the connective tissue, the joints, and the muscles have kind of found their new alignment which then right. is, is kind of helping modulate our, our perception of pain. Right. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not they have any brain mapping studies or any of that happening yet, but it's... There are, there are a lot of studies on this subject, and this is all to do with like brain. There, there's, there's, comp, there's so much uh, that goes on. There's phantom pain, which I talk about in the book, and then there's real pain. And phantom pain is as painful as real pain, because the body's memory of pain, it just remembers pain. So it is, it, the, it's shooting the pain memory to us, and we have to break the loop, break the loop of that memory, which I show how to do that. So you, you think you're in real pain, and you might be in real pain up until a certain point, but then there's phantom pain. So once you figure out what point of your body is real, what, what is the pain that's real and phantom pain, and that's all in how you treat yourself. You have to work very relaxed, work, don't work through pain because that's keeping the pain message going. Work to the edge of pain, stop, let the pain go away. And then you start again and see if the pain is there. And very often, once you stop and the, let the pain go away, the brain will then, the, if it's phantom pain, then you've actually broken the loop. And you can break a pain loop in a day because the brain isn't stubborn like human beings. It's, it's on a whole different process. So once you break the loop, it's gone. You've mm -hmm. broken it. So you can retrain the brain loop if it's phantom pain. If it's real pain, then you slowly heal through it. But as you learn how to work where you don't go into the pain, you go to the edge of pain and you let, let that pain subside, the body will heal it because you're, you're, you're not causing panic in the body. So then the healing mechanisms can run in and fix it up and then you keep on going. So somebody who might have been, like uh, people go to, and they, they try everything to get rid of pain, but they're trying too hard mm -hmm. and they're actually triggering and triggering and re-triggering the pain because the body's always defending itself against what we're doing to it. So you so have to... You have to ease into it. So. I'm assuming you've seen a lot of these cases, but like say someone comes yeah. in with an MRI that has, you know, a rotator cuff tear that the surgeon, the surgeon says, you know, look, try to rehab it. If, it does, if the rehab doesn't work, come back, we'll fix it, right? So supraspinatus, okay. whatever. And so yeah, you, right. you, you get this person and then you start mm -hmm. putting them into a protocol where you just start mm -hmm. aligning the joints. How often have right. you seen this? Uh, tear, like a real tear seen in an MRI, start to resolve yeah. and have you done before and afters? Many, many, many times, too many times to tell you. Uh, knees, shoulders, um, knees in particular because it's from athletes uh, and shoulders too. If the tear, if, if, if it's a tear but not a complete rip, the then you can, you work exactly as I've been saying, and it very rapidly can be resolved. That person then has to be gentle with their body as they are rebuilding their strength because they don't want to cause the tear to tear more. They say you can't, uh, the healing of ligaments and tendons is a very, very slow process, but you're you're strengthening all the muscles around it so that um, as you strengthen the muscles around the tear, the muscles can take over the job of the support that, let's say, the ligaments and tendons were supposed to be doing. So they're all, they're all in there working with each other. 
So I have seen this. Uh, as long as people don't force, but they're doing what I'm saying is to go to the edge of the pain and stop and let the pain resolve before they continue moving, they will see very fast results. If the doctor has told them to rehab, and this is the way to rehab is through your, you know, your arm is a weight, so you don't need to go and do weights. Your arm weighs what? Everybody's different, but between... 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds. So why lift another five pounds? Your arm is a sufficient weight. And then moving gently through, through, through to rebalance all the muscles, lengthen them so that they liberate these stressed out uh, ligaments or tendons or whatever is being torn. And then you're good to go. And really it's fast. It's quite fast. If it, if the person does it correctly, it's quite fast. And I'm talking weeks, short weeks, definitely not a month, short weeks. When you say move to the edge of pain, um, does that happen also in an individual session? So I'll kind of get to a place and go, okay, ow, 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 and then just hang, yeah. hang there, oh, yeah. okay? Yeah. But then what? Like do I, do I incrementally okay. so move through it in a single ow, session? Ow, ow. Okay, yeah. okay, so I'll do it for you. So, okay, you go here. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, I'll say, okay, let's start that one again. So then I'll say, okay, let's lift your arm. And the moment you start feeling any pain, I don't want you to go to, oh, wow, wow, because that's too far. Too far. So let's go back up to where you feel some pain. And now you stop. Okay, that pain will then go away. So then you're going to go here. And a little pain will wait, and that pain will go. And then you go up here. And then it's like, this pain isn't going. So that's what we know is the real problem here. So then you go just out of that spot, and then you start to move in it. And any movement you do has to have no pain in it. And very rapidly, you'll find yourself rehabilitated by working uh, not in the ow ow area ever. Okay, so you stay un under the sharp pain, you come under a couple yeah. notches, and then you start to mobilize within that, that kind of limited range. Right. And you work both sides. So the, you, you've got two shoulders. So we're working this one. I might work the healthy one more mm -hmm. because the body talks to itself. So the healthy one's working, and the, the other one that's injured is listening. So this one is working. So we do mm -hmm. this. And the, the injured one is learning from the healthy one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, this is what I'm supposed to do. So then you start with the injured one, and you go gently, and then you go the healthy one. So it's, it's rebalancing the two together. So you've got your body is working together. It's, it's like you, have your, you love your body. We should love our bodies. We shouldn't be so aggressive. Like we treat our bodies as though our body is our enemy that we have to conquer. But actually our bodies are, it's our greatest gift. We just have to know how to use the gift and it, it will do what we want it to do. What's your take on traditional PT? You know, you go into a PT clinic, you got people, you know, cleaning clean the wall with the towels, you got them walking up and down the right. wall, doing, you know, one of, I don't know, 20, 30 algorithmic exercises for each type of syndrome. How does that mm -hmm. um, interact with this? Can, can you use them together? Does that get in the way? I use everything. I mean, I recommend our, my clients and all my teachers, we have 1,800 teachers, and I recommend that we, we work as a team with soft and hard medicine. So you go to your doctor, you get all your x-rays, your MRIs, whatever. You go to your chiropractor, your PT, your acupuncture, your physiotherapist, your, oh, well, I said that, your masseurs, every different, you, you do hot and cold therapies, you do everything, because there's going to be something that works well for you besides what we're doing. So the PT is, is just one more tool for somebody who's injured, but they should also do this. Because that's focusing on one, they're not focusing, let's say you're walking up the wall. Well, that's focusing on, let's say, somebody who's got a frozen shoulder. But, what, but the frozen shoulder could be affected by, let's say, somebody who's got a calf injury. Or they're, you know, they're very tight in their hips. So they're compensating and it's, it's, it's spiraled through the chain 
into the frozen shoulder. But the real problem is in their feet. Hmm. So PT is focusing on the, the, the one issue, but we work the body as a whole. So if they go to PT and they do their PT, which I think they should, especially after a surgery, they do their PT to focus, and then they do our program to finish the job, that, that'll they'll heal so fast. Yeah, so I was going to say, you, you, you have a very complementary model that can work with right. all of these different specialties. By yeah. the way, uh, anyone uh, listening live on Facebook, the show format is now a little different where we have the live show on Facebook and then uh, it comes out on YouTube and blog and all that stuff a week later. So I love it. Any, any questions uh, or comments, uh, Lorenzo will send them my way. Sean's not here today. Uh, Lorenzo will send them my way and uh, we can uh, spend a couple minutes uh, kind of unpacking whatever your individual problems are because we got Miranda mm. on the phone and that's not um, that's not an everyday thing yeah mm. so you know it's it's fascinating I actually work with a few guys up in uh, um, California they do this thing called foundation training which is uh, you know does a lot of kind of uh, posterior chain work um, but it's, okay. it's very kind of specific for the posterior chain but some of the movements okay. are the same some of the movement movements are very static right and right. You know, it's worked it's worked for a certain uh, subset of my patients and so you know I'll try anything okay. for my patients right um, because you know mm -hmm. at the end of the day I want them to get better I don't want them on drugs I don't yeah. want them to go for surgery I mean it's just you know if you right. care for them you want to go mm -hmm. least to minimally invasive you know up to mm -hmm. you know under the scalpel and then if they go under the scalpel they better damn well be going to a person who knows what they're doing and that, that, that that's a whole other show is you know right. you need to go to a qualified surgeon if that that is kind of rehab oriented um, right. as you as you go in and right? even then you can't be sure what's going to happen Things go wrong in surgery, you know, I mean, so even the best surgeon, things can go wrong. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, we want, me and you, all, uh, we both want the best for our clients. And I like the, the soup, the potage of you working as a team. I don't think that this program is the be all and the end all, but I know exactly what it is. And it's really, really valuable for the full body. But I do believe in the, you know, the, the that you have to send someone to a specialist, and they'll find who works best for them. Also, that's it. That's it. You said you have eighteen hundred teachers. Um, right. So, how many yeah. people approximately do you think have gone through this methodology? Like, just if you were to guess, how many people have benefited from this stuff? You mean how many students? Stu well, or um, how many teachers? Well, no, how many students? Huh? So you have eighteen hundred teachers, which means you oh, you're touching a lot of lives. You know what? I think. I think millions because of the PBS show, mm -hmm. because that show is on daily uh, in many, many major markets across the nation early in the morning. But we get the emails, uh, and I think in the millions, um, we get thousands, I mean thousands of emails. Over, over these last 15 years, we've had thousands of emails of people telling us about their healing. Like, I thought it was a fitness program I developed <laughs> when mm. I started because I thought it was all about getting in shape. But it was through the viewers of the PBS show that I realized that actually getting in shape means having a healthy body. That means healing. And I had to figure out what what is it that makes a body heal? What is it mm -hmm. that, that that we need to have? to not have injuries after the surgery, after the acute pain thing is over with. Got it. So, got that, a, so I have to sort of find it out backwards. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, so I got a question from George. Does this help plantar fasciitis? Oh, yes, um, absolutely. And that will help it so fast. So he just needs to do the, I think there's a chapter on that. And within um, two or three times of doing it, his plantar fasciitis pain will be gone. I mean, I had one woman come in, she was in her 40s, she came to a class, uh, a retreat that I offered. So she showed up and said, oh, I can't do it, I know I've signed up, but I'll sit at the back and watch because I have plantar fasciitis and it's been in pain for three months and I can mm -hmm. hardly walk. So I said, okay, well just stand up and just relax and sort of move around. Be sloppy, be lazy. End of class, your plantar fasciitis pain was gone. That was at right. the end of an hour one and a half. Class. And that's one class. She was like in total shock. So it's the relaxation that does it, and it's working through all the 
the muscles of the calf, the the tibialis, the you know the soleus, the gastro, uh, the you know the the toes. It's it's working right up into the alignment into the hips that are going to liberate right through the feet. So it's it's the combination of the full body, but focusing specifically there that gets rid of the pain so fast. Relaxed relaxation is this power, this incredible power in gentleness. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm going to talk, I'm going to throw us over to Lorenzo for a couple more questions here. Go ahead, buddy. All right. So we have two similar questions here. Uh, one from MK. Uh, where do we find someone to do this with us? Um, there was a more specific one uh, from Gail. Any classes offered in central New Hampshire? Got it. So where can, where can they find someone, uh, one of your 1800 people and anything in central New Hampshire? Okay, so uh, best thing is to go on to eccentrics.com and it, look uh, E S S E N T R I like Irene C S dot com, and um, go for find a teacher. So on the website, there's a find a teacher place, and uh, there should be a teacher listed. I don't know where they all are. I mean. They can go, we have Eccentrics TV, or I think it's called Eccentrics TV, and there are three or four hundred workouts on Eccentrics TV that they can try out for a month. It's like, I think it's 13 or 14 dollars, so try it, and then if they like it, they can, you know, uh, keep doing it. So, and there are, all, all the workouts are full body. So they're all gonna they're all gonna help everything, because the full body has to be worked together, and they are all aimed at working together. So even if you're aiming a little bit more for back pain or shoulder pain, they're all full body. So they're great. gonna help everything. You know? Great, great. We've had a handful of our fans say that they already watch you on PBS and love it. So oh, you definitely, nice. Got, okay. You, you definitely got Thank people you. here. Um, you, the people. last question for yeah. me is: a lot of times you'll see people with tension headaches that maybe start in the occiput, right. wrap around. People say like, I have you know a migraine, but it's really just right. kind of a musculoskeletal thing that originates. Right. How often do you see that? Right. Does that help? To I mean everything you I mean. I've been around so long, I've seen too much of all of this. Totally. I mean, terrible migraines. One woman came in. So I do weekend retreats, and they are two days. Two classes on one day, and the third, uh, the third class is the second day. And um, one woman came in second day saying that it was the first night she'd slept in. She couldn't even remember when she had no migraine. She'd spent her whole life, basically, with migraines. And just one, one day of two classes got rid of her migraines and we we get this a lot it's all the same thing it's liberating the muscles you know where what's in muscles is blood and you get the blood flow the relaxation in the muscles everything moving the tension released and uh i, I there's a lot of study that needs to be done as to why but i get it all the time all the time Great. Great. Yeah, I know a lot of people suffer from that, so that's a big deal. Oh, it's just awful. It really is, and it, it's debilitating. so much pain, yeah. yeah. Plantar fasciitis, frozen shoulder, back pain, hip pain. It's awful, and I don't know about you, I'm sure it's the same with you, but people suffer from all kinds of illness and pain that I had no clue. There are so many ways to be in pain, <laughs> so many conditions. It's scary. Yep, know? yep, exactly. So the book is called, oops, Forever Painless, and uh, it's End in Chronic Pain and Reclaim Your Life in 30 Minutes a Day by Miranda Esmond White. Beautiful cover. I'm going to uh, put it up here real quick. Uh, tell us when it's available. It's available now. You can get it cool. at your local bookstore um, and uh, on Amazon, of course, but most bookstores are now selling it, and you can get it on our website also. So it is available as of a few days ago. So I'm thrilled to bits to have to have it now finally out. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Because pain is yeah. one of those really terrible. terrible, silent lifestyle killers. And you know, when you when you yeah. can't move anymore, the vitality of your system starts to go, your light starts to flicker. And that's when, you know, more coffee, more drugs, more whatever, because the show must go on. But you know, it's um, it's a slippery slope uh, once you oh, stop yeah. moving. 
And relationships get destroyed by pain. Mm -hmm. Families get broken apart by pain. I mean, pain is, it's, it's a terrible thing for people to have to suffer from. And knowing that they don't have to suffer from it, I really, really want to get this message out because people's lives, we deserve good lives. It's a, we, we should be happy. We should be pain free. We deserve it. We deserve good lives. That's a, if Sean were here, I'd be like, there's your tweetable. Um, excellent. <laughs> well, listen, uh, we're going to get this out to our audience. If you're watching this right now, share it with anyone you know who has pain. Uh, I'm going to start practicing this myself. Lord knows you hear me bitching about my hip now and again. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take the, the challenge here and uh, we're going to, yeah. we're going to get in and um, yeah, I'll report back. Um, yeah, oh, good. Miranda, okay. this, this has been uh, wonderful. I think, uh, Look, anything to help people get out of pain, I'm all 100% right. behind. So thanks for doing the work that you do. Thanks for being on The Urban Monk. And uh, I'll follow up once I've done some of these uh, exercises and report oh, back. Oh, please do. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I want thanks. to hear about your hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. will do. All right. Thanks for being here. Give us comments in the thread. Uh, share this with anyone you think has pain. And uh, this is it. This is a new format. I'm actually going to go live again at three o'clock and uh, 13 minutes with another guest. We're trying to stack in a few before the holidays. So daddy over here and Lorenzo and everyone else here can go get some sleep for December. So uh, I'll see you back at 3 p.m. Uh, in just a few minutes with our next guest. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think about this. See you next time.